All right, guys, here we are. Downtown Omaha River. We have the onboard Zeus Pro with my 361 inch attached to it because that's what I do. So I'm just going to uh, go over this board. I've had this board for a couple weeks now. I've ridden 70, 80 miles, so I got a feel for it. Um, I'm gonna run over some of the specs, things like that, and uh, cruise around uh, Omaha down here. And I've never been here, so why not? And uh, yeah, let's let's go. Okay, so just a quick run through of the basics. We obviously have the 120 millimeter cloud wheels on it. This is the 936 watt hour battery pack, Monocell M50A configuration. And uh, yeah, everything else is uh, pretty standard. I only bought the 120 cloud wheels just for the simple fact that I wanted two things out of a board. Number one was stability, because I'm old and I don't want to crash, even though I have this. <laughs> Second was range. I wanted range out of this thing. And from what onboard says, it's a 46 mile range, but their test subject was lighter than me, probably smaller. So if I can get close to 40, I would be happy, but range test will be the next video. So let's just uh, cruise around the pros and cons. You know how that works. So let's go. So right off the bat, the one thing I do like is you don't have to push the button to get it to start. You just turn the remote on and the board automatically turns on. So that is actually pretty helpful. So another thing I've noticed is that carving on here is like ridiculously easy. Stability is absolutely positively amazing. I did turbo mode, which there's four modes, one, two, three, and then turbo is kind of hidden. You have to click the button three times to get to it. But uh, yeah, that turbo mode is absolutely ridiculous. If you're not hanging on for dear life and you're not ready for it, you will get thrown off this board pretty easily. So like stability is crazy good. The traditional Kingpin trucks they have on here that own board apparently makes themselves is absolutely stable as a MF. And uh, yeah, I could not be happier with these cloud wheels. The ride is comfortable, smooth. It's not all like crazy. Oh, this is all closed off, really? Oh, you are killing me. The anodized look, absolutely love it. I mean, they have the wheels with the anodized look on it and stuff, those six inch pneumatics. I did not buy those because I have no interest in those. I mean, maybe next summer I might buy them, but for now, I am very pleased with these 120 cloud wheels. They're super smooth. Carbonability is crazy. You want stability, you tighten up the trucks a bit, you are good to go. I say we go up there. What do you think? Sounds good. Like I said, the torque on here is crazy. Like right now I'm in mode two. Remote says I'm doing 18. This will do 22. Yeah, it's 22 miles an hour. But I have the trucks really, really, really loose. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> I adjust the trucks to how I know I'm gonna ride. If I'm gonna be on these little paths like this and there's a lot of people, which there is, it's a Saturday. It's what happens. I loosen them up so I have maneuverability between people, things like that. I don't wanna run into anybody, obviously. So that's kinda of why I loosen them up. When I go on the other trail, I tighten them up a little bit for stability. And that's usually when I'm in turbo mode and then I just kinda of do whatever I feel like it Comfy right now for me is about 28 to 30 miles an hour. I'm comfortable. It's not overnight that you're gonna be used to the board. I mean, I've been riding skateboards for 
uh, 40 plus years now. Kind of just aged myself, but whatever. And yeah, you it takes time. And these e-boards are even crazier, honestly. They're actually kind of getting ridiculous. I took the big Papio Trail, which is like a 10 or 11 mile trail. I forget what it is. I didn't slow down once and I was doing a good 30 pace, 30 miles an hour. And these wheels did not even warm up. It was literally, I could touch them with the back of my fingers. It weren't, weren't even warm. These motors don't heat up. That's a very good thing. So, seeing I have the beautiful scenery here, as we'll end the video here. Final thoughts on the onboard Zeus Pro 120 cloud wheels. I am pretty sure competition for this in this price range. Uh, Eovan, GTS, that might be comparable. But as far as I can tell, I mean, I have limited knowledge of e-skating and logboards things like that with all that being said price range things like that this is probably the best option out there for range stability uh, everything i was looking for the comfort the ride horribility stability it's pretty much got it all next video will be the range test so if you don't uh want to miss that please throw a sub on the channel throw a like on the video if you got a kick out of this i appreciate you watching and stopping by and i'll catch you in the next one peace